cucumber. I'm a 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 cucumber. Please don't take me to the pickle farm. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Tell your do your little story. Good night, the monkeys. Sleep with the monkeys. And don't jump on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good night, the monkeys. Sleep tight, the monkeys. And don't jump on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mom called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good night, the monkeys. Sleep tight, the monkeys. And don't jump on the bed. Hmm. A two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. And I mean it, too. Good night, the monkey. Sleep tight, the monkey. And don't jump on the... Oh, never mind. You do it anyways, aren't you, there? One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, wait a minute. There really are no more monkeys jumping on this bed. Well, you know what that means, don't you? I know. What does that mean? Well, it means that there's plenty of room for me. Jump on the bed. Woohoo! Jumping on the bed. Jumping on the bed. Jumping on. Oh my goodness! Somebody call me a doctor. Oh. Hi, everybody. My name is Jim Napolitano, and my friends call me Nappy. That's why I named my puppet company Nappy's Puppets. Today I'm going to do a shadow puppet show for you, and I hope that you will enjoy it. A little bit later on in the show, uh, I'm going to do some things, show you how to make shadow puppets, shadow puppet screen, and all that kind of thing. But for now, I got some more shadow pieces. So if you're ready, I'll get some ready, and then hopefully you will enjoy them. Right? Right.
Here, boy. Here, boy. Oh, there's a good boy. Now, I want you to sit down. I said sit down. Okay, good boy, good boy, good boy. Now, I'm going to get you a treat, but you guys stay right there. I want you to stay. Stay. De -dum -de -dum -de I said stay. <laughs> la 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 la. No, 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 no. De -dum -de Come on. Uh huh. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare, and so the poor dog had none. I'm sorry, there's no bone for you today. What? Oh. She went to the market to buy him some fruit, and when she came back, that dog was playing the flute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on now. Where in the world did he get the flute from? She went to the market to buy him a wig, and when she came back, he was dancing a jig. Hey, I'm the Lord of the Dance. Thank you. Right. I think he's more like the, the Lord of the Silly Heads, if you ask me. She went to the market to buy him a coat, and when she came back, he was riding a goat. Yee-haw! Oh my goodness! Hey, hey, get out of the way! Whoa! I have never ridden a goat on the ceiling before. Ha ha ha! On the ceiling, the whoops! Yee-haw! Wait a minute, what's going on? Hey, how come there are goat prints on your ceiling? Well, you know, I just washed that ceiling. Oh. She went to the market to buy him a hat. And when she came back, he was feeding a cat. Okay, kitty. Open up a tunnel, because here comes the choo-choo train. Chugga, 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 chugga. Woo. Okay, kitty. Say ah. Meow. No, 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 no. Say ah. Meow. With kitty. Come on now. It's very simple, please. Open up and say, ah. Meow. With the, well, I guess that's as good as it's going to get. <clears throat> she went to the market to buy some pantyhose. Hey, what are you laughing about? I get to buy stuff for me sometimes. It's not always for the dog, you know. Uh, yes, well, uh, she went to the market to buy some pantyhose, and when she came back, that dog was dressed up in her clothes. The dame made a curtsy, and the dog made a bow. The dame said, your servant, and the dog said, bow, wow. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now, I want to tell you this one about the guy named Jack. Do you know one about the guy named Jack? I have to tell you, it's not Jack and the Beanstalk. I, most kids say, Jack and the Beanstalk? No, sorry, it's not Jack and the Beanstalk. Maybe next time I come, I can do that. But this is a different one. I'll give you a hint. Maybe you know this one about Jack. Do you know that one? Good. Jack. Be nimble. Jack, be quick. Beep, 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 beep. Jack, jump over the candle. No, no, I'm not jumping over this thing. It's on fire. No, I don't play with fire. That's not a good idea. But I got an idea like this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear AJ. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Sorry, AJ, it's a little belated. Okay, now we blow out your candle. Come on now, AJ. Come on, blow out the candle. One, two, three. <gasps> Sorry, there should have been 20 candles, AJ. There's only one. I got the budgetary restraints. You know? Okay, now I can jump over it like woohoo! Yahoo! Boo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yes, well. 
in case you don't know, AJ is here. He's the only person here in our studio audience, but so I sing to every person that comes in, and that's I'm done now, because we only got one. Now, it is time to do the one about the guy named Willie. This is a nursery rhyme. I know you sing along with Nappy's Puppets, and we'll sing again later. I gotta take a break sometimes. Now, it's the one about the guy named Willie. Do you know the one about Willie? Because I don't know it. I was hoping somebody could call in. Maybe later you call in and tell me how it goes. I'll try to remember. This is how I remember it goes. Um, <clears throat> Wee Willie Winky. Wee Willie Winky ran through the town. He ran up the stairs and he ran down the stairs in his nightgown. Uh, let's see now. Wee Willie Winky ran through the town. See. Oh, yes. He was a winking. Wink, 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 wink. Get it? Because his name is Wee Willie Winky. Uh, he was winking, and to be perfectly honest, he was weeing everywhere. I uh, got a little problem here. I got to go wee. Uh, it's not very funny. Please don't laugh, but on the count of three, uh, I'm going to go wee. One, two, three. Wee! Wee! All the way home. Okay, so now I said there would be more singing, and it's time. So get your voices ready, because this part has uh, some parts that you could sing along with. Uh, so AJ, get ready. Now, this is a song that most people know the name of the song as soon as they see all of the scenery. But don't guess yet, because that's not all of the scenery. That is only some of the scenery. And here is some more of the scenery that's a little crooked i fixed that like that and now here is all of the scenery in my hands hello now what do you see that's the name of the song aj what do you see apples is part of the name that's very good aj what are the apples on aj tree is anybody that you don't want to see this going to see this? I'm sorry to if I'm embarrassing you, AJ. Uh, yes, apple tree, but what color apples do you see there? Green apple tree. Yes, that is the name of this song. And remember, there are parts for you uh, at home or such to sing along. <clears throat> don't make me do all the work now. <clears throat> Oh, I had a rooster, and the rooster pleased me. I fed my rooster by the green apple tree. My old oh, rooster went cock-a-doodle-doo-dee-doodle-dee-doodle-dee-doo. I had a piggy, and the piggy pleased me. I fed my piggy by the green apple tree. My old piggy went oink, 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 oink. And my old rooster went cock a doodle doo dee doo doodle dee doo doodle dee doo doodle dee doo. I had a moo cow, and the moo cow pleased me. I fed my moo cow by the green apple tree. My old moo cow went. Oh, that's very good. We have a cow in the studio, apparently. My old piggy went oink, 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 oink. And my old rooster went cock a doodle doo dee doo doodle dee doo doodle dee doo doodle dee doo. I had a horsey, and horsey pleased me. I fed my horsey by the green apple tree. My old horsey went nay. My old moo cow went moo. My old piggy oink 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 oink. And my old rooster went cock a doodle doo dee doo doodle dee doo doodle dee doo doodle dee doo. I had one of these things. Yeah, I had the sheep, and the sheep pleased me. I fed my sheep by the green apple tree. My old sheep went. Bah. My old horsey went. Nay. My old moo cow went. Bah. Is anybody saying boo? I hope not. My old piggy went oink, 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 oink. And my old rooster went cock a doodle doo dee doo doodle dee doo doodle dee doo doodle dee doo. Don't worry, AJ, it's just one more. I had a baby, and the baby pleased me. 
I fed my baby by the green apple tree. My sweet baby went away. <laughs> my, my, my old sheep went away. <laughs> my old horsey went away. My old moo cow went away. My old piggy went oink, 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 oink. And my old rooster went cock a doodle doo dee doo dee doo dee doo dee doo Ah ha ha. And so, ladies and gentlemen, when you see the screen really dark in between the screen for pieces a long time, that means. I'm working very hard, extra hard, and so please be patient. Usually, the kids are going crazy laughing and clapping, so I hope you're doing that at home. Ah, so I have one more piece that I'd like to share with you, and then I'm going to take a little bit of a break, and I'm going to show you about how you can make shadow puppets, simple ones, and how you can make a shadow screen, simple one, and then we will do that, and then I'll do some more shadow puppets unless you change the channel. So don't do that. Please stay with me now. This one is the story about Chick. Actually, it's about a singing chick. Do you know what it is called? It is called the singing chick. <laughs> On a warm spring day, out of the farmyard and into the forest rolled a little chicken's egg that landed with a crack. And out of that little egg came a little chick and that chick was so happy to be out of the egg the chick sang a little song like this sky is so blue the sun is so yellow the trees are so green and i'm a happy fellow peep 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 peepery peep 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 when all and out of the woods to see what all the peeping was about came this guy right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hello, fox. Oh, hello, lunch, said the fox. And he ate the chick up for lunch with a big gobble, gobble, gobble. He went, gobble, 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 yeah. Well, the fox was very happy because he had a nice big lunch. He was going to open up his mouth to burp, but he didn't open up his mouth to burp. He opened up his mouth and do you know what happened? Sky is so blue. Who is singing? Sun is so yellow. I don't like singing. Trees are so green. And I'm a happy fellow. A peep, 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 peep. Well, the fox was singing and skipping and skipping and singing all the way through the forest uh, until he met a wolf who said, hey, please be quiet. I have a headache. And your singing is making it worse. Well, the fox wanted to say, yes, of course I'll be quiet. But all he could say was, sky is so blue. What? Sun is so yellow. Hey, be quiet. Trees are so green. And I'm a happy fellow. Peep, 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 peep. Mom, 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 mom. Tastes like chicken. Peep, 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 and a wolf was singing and skipping and skipping and singing all the way through the forest until he hit a rock that he tripped on, kaboom! Except it wasn't a rock, it was a great a big bear who said, hey, watch where you're going. Peep? What, what did you say? Peep. You're, you're a wolf. I mean, wolves don't say peep. Stop saying peep. One more peep out of you, and I will eat you up. Peep. And then, of course, you know what happened, right? Peep, 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 peepery peep. The bear was singing and skipping and skipping and singing all the way through the forest until he hit a tree. He went kablam, flying through the air, and he landed.
kaboom, and out of his mouth came the, what is that thing? A wolf and then kaboom, out of his mouth came the fox who landed kaboom, and out of his mouth came the singing chick. And then the, the fox and the wolf and the bear were all so happy not to be singing the, the peep, peep, peep song. Well, they gave the singing chick a little hug. Hug, 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 hug. And they gave him a little kiss. And then they took him all the way back to the farm where they introduced him to his papa, the rooster, and his mama, the opera singing hen. And they all lived happily ever after the end. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, that was fun, but I need a break, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about making shadow puppets. So here I come around to the f I'm going to cough if you want to give me a mute. <coughs> Sorry about that in your ears. Hi. We're on the wrong places that I'm seeing. Here I am. Hi, I'm a handsome fellow, and I got to lose a little weight. Okay, now... Making shadow puppets is very cool, very simple, very easy. You might want to explore making shadow puppets because they are the fastest kind of puppet to make, they are the least expensive kind of puppet to make, and they're made with materials that are very easy to get. You might even be able to get them wherever you are, even right in here. I brought them, so I'm cheating. Sorry about that. So when I make a shadow puppet, I start with cardboard because cardboard is free. We probably should do this side so that we don't give anybody advertising. Um, so maybe you get a box of cereal and then eat the whole box of cereal or, you know, put it aside, whatever. But you, you want the cardboard, see? Recycling cardboard, cardboard, nice cardboard box, and then you draw your shape. I'm going to go like this and we can kind of almost see it uh, like this. And then I can't even think about it. I'm going to do this little guy here. Huh? All right. So let me just save the rest for laters. And... Cardboard. I got some other things here. I didn't have ready ahead of time. My bad. Super shock. Oh, I should have greeted everything out. That's at least a generic super shock. I have a pool. You know now. Now <laughs> it is closed. You can't come over. So I'm cutting out this thing that I drew on the cardboard. And then what you want after you get your cardboard shadow puppet is you want to control it. So you need a control rod. And so um, with the control rod, I use for the professional purposes, metal and wood and crazy things like that. But you, for uh, amateur or enthusiastical type needs, you could use a bendable straw. You take a bendable straw and you bend it. I'm just get rid of that part here. They'll clean up that later, I'm sure. Now, da, da, da. if it's your house, you gotta clean it up. That's your job. But this is not my house, so I'm a guest here, and they got to clean up after me. Now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm not, oh, yeah, look, I'm picture in a picture. You know what? I forgot to say. Now is the time, if anybody in the world is watching, uh, you could give me a call, and I'll answer your question. The number you could call is... I'm a cucumber. I'm a cucumber. I'm a cucumber. I'm a cucumber. I'm a cucumber, I'm a cucumber Please don't take me to the pickle farm Yeah! Okay, I'm done. Tell yours. Do your little story. Alright, anyways. I'll keep going here and I'll go through my whole spiel. But if anybody has a question, I could answer it or pretend I know the answer and not answer it. But I'll give you a good fake answer. So like this. We're almost done. This is the part where if you were a cooking show, you'd say, I have prepared one earlier. I'm not that fancy and I have no staff. So it's just me and the scissors. And here we're almost done. And good enough for government work, right? So, oh, you know what I forgot to cut is the part on the inside. Because that makes them two different feet instead of a big blob. Uh, 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 uh. Be careful with scissors. Because, no, it could cut you, so I hope you know how to use them and you'll be careful with them. So there is uh, the guy. Now, because I use it out of multiple panels, he's got some parts that are folding up. We don't want any folding pieces. We want to use one piece of cardboard with no folds, but I wasn't planning it very well. So we'll make do, 
And that's the great thing about puppetry. There's no wrong. You can't do it wrong. Either it works or it doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, then you fix it. But this will work, I think. We'll keep it nice and flat. There's our guy. And now I will show you mm, the control rod. This is the control rod, which is really just two bendable straws. And I pinch up this one here. I make it small and put it in this one. One is a straight, straight straw, and one is the bendy straw that you can bend. So you bend it like that, and then you tape it to your puppet so that it's sticking at a 90 degree angle. Here is my tape. This is good tape. You could use any kind of tape you like. I'm sticking that the straw is sticking straight up at a 90 degree angle, perpendicular. That's the geography part of our session today. So 90 degree angle, put the tape on, my big old hands in the way for you probably. Uh, like that. I try to work bigger because it's easier for me to do it. And so there, I've got something that you could make a shadow with. But um, what you need to make a shadow puppet show is a shadow puppet and a shadow screen. So how do we make a shadow screen? It's easy, I tell you. I'm just going to do some things here and make a bigger mess that they have to clean up for me later. Now, this is a box. If you get a box so that it could stand on its side, that's the top of the box, and here is the bottom of the box. And if you magically ahead of time prepared one earlier, you just use it and cut it out like that. That's the bottom of the box that I prepared earlier. And so you want to leave about a one inch border so that the box could stand up pretty good on it. So what we're going to do next is take some paper. This is a white paper. If you go to the deli and get a sandwich without mustard, then you could use the paper they wrap it in. And so unless you want like yellow sunshine, then get lots of mustard on your sandwich. And there you go. I need to ask if I could borrow a writing utensil type of thing uh, to make. I forgot that I needed a pen. Thank you kindly. Just got to trace out the shape. I'm probably going to go like this real quick. And I'll make how big the box is. This one, I'm just part of my standing up on you like that. This is all kind of improv by the way. So now I have on my piece of paper how big the box is. All right. So now I'm just going to cut it out smaller. That looks better than we thought. So that's good. I'm just going to cut it a little bit smaller. You could cut it the same size right on the line if you wanted. Do -de -do. I'm waiting for your call. I'm a cucumber. 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 Please don't take me to the pickle farm. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Tell your do your little story. Okay, so. I really quickly and kind of poorly cut that out. And so now I've got a piece of paper that's as big as the box. That is the box with uh, uh, a hole cut out of it. Yeah, you following me so far? I get some tape ready. I get a whole bunch of pieces ahead of time. So that way we won't have to keep using this roll. So I rip it this way here and I'll rip it this way there. I'm just making some pieces so that I can have access to them as I need them. Sorry if this is kind of boring, but what do you want for nothing there? This is free TV, and you get what you pay for. Now, I am taping this. It doesn't have to look pretty because this is not the audience's view. This, there we are. This, what you're seeing right now, is the performer side. This is your side as the performer. And the audience will look at another, the other part I'll show you in a minute. So you don't have to make it absolutely gorgeous, pretty, nice, nice, nice. Huh? And one more piece in the corner. You use a scotch tape, you know, it'll kind of hide better. It's very not pretty. But that's okay because what happens is the audience looks down the top of the box. And then the performer performs against the... Um, this side and let's see how we could do it. let's hold it there and there I am all right well I'm just gonna do one thing 
can you go to my uh, dimmer, it's the white one, and turn my light on? I'm going to try and get out of the way and see if that gives us a little more. So with this kind of shadow stage, you don't have to have your own light right there. Perfect. Thank you. You could just use whatever lights in the room, and then the box acts as a light shield. So if you buy a window or buy a bright light, then you could use that light like that. So here, I'm just going to bring it and frame it a little bit better, and I'm using the light from my shadow screen, and there you go. It looks pretty okay. Farmer guy, he could do the standing on his head trick. Um, terrible at the video monitor backwards flip. So uh, that's a hard one, eh? Mm, that's why I don't work for Muppets. There we go. So that's how you do that one. But here is the cool part. Ready? <clears throat> this kind of puppet that you make out of cardboard is opaque. That means it blocks the light. This kind of puppet will not let the light go through, so it stops the light and it makes a shadow. But there are other kinds of materials that you could use that are translucent. And I'm getting that kind of stuff here. This is cardstock. It's a little bit thicker than paper. And at the car hardware, um, the office supply store, if you ask for cardstock, then you can get cardstock. And what you could do is use markers, and these markers will show colors. So I'm not going to take the time to cut it out. I'm just going to show you all the different ways you can color with markers. And here's the great thing. I have these designs and more here for you if you'd like to make your own shadow puppets. I have these designs and they can be brought up to you uh, at, at some point in the future and you can color and you can make it. And I have little cards, little, little cards. It has my picture on it. I'm sorry for that. But on my card, it has the instructions on how to make the shadow box theater. So let's just give a quick example of one of these not cut out puppets up against the shadow screen. So you, the audience, looks through the top. I hold it against it, and look, there is the color. Okay? I will slowly move it away, and you can see that it's not on the paper, but rather it is the puppet against the paper making shadows that are translucent colored shadows. So um, if you've got puppets that are this big, then you need a bigger box. You know what's the greatest kind of box? A refrigerator. If you ever know anybody that is getting a refrigerator, get the box. Ask them if you could have the box because you could make like a whole big theater. That would be tremendous. So, um, I'm just take one more moment and see if we have any calls while I, I gather up my thoughts. I'm a cucumber. I'm a cucumber. I'm a cucumber. Please don't take me to the pickle farm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> yes. Shall we go to the camera or shall I bring them out here? Bring them out yeah, let me bring them out here. That way I can see. Yeah. Now, uh, da -da -dee -doo. these are the ones I use. So they're on top. Here I come. This one is really just cardboard. And it's two pieces of cardboard. And I'm going to play to the other camera. <laughs> there we are. You can see that what I did as I put them together, and there's a piece of wire that goes through both pieces of cardboard. And this wire is just spiraled bigger than the hole. And so these two pieces, they can't come apart. They're kind of put together. You could make moving parts. You don't have to have a wire that make a spiral. You could use a brass fastener, yeah? So that's how you could make moving parts. But this is the egg, and I hold it together during the, uh, during on against the shadow screen, and then when it opens, I just kind of move one piece and make it open, like that, and the chick comes out. Speaking of the chick, this is a kind of material that is called polyethylene. I always get it mixed up with polypropylene. So you can see it has color to it. It's a brown color in nature, but um, it doesn't let light through. It's opaque, so it blocks the light. And this one has one, two, three, four pieces. One piece, the littlest piece, is just one foot. And you can see me shaking that foot right there. That's the one piece. And then the second, another piece, is the wing and the foot. And you can see right here where there's a white dot, that's a knotted piece of string that holds it together. So when I flap his wing, his foot goes. And so when he's flying, he kind of has two feet moving. And then the third piece is all the way from the tip of his beak all the way to the tail. 
body. That's one whole piece all the way through. And then there's one more piece. You can see the big spiral there. That's for this little tiny, I'll turn it over and show you the other side, the little tiny piece that that's the wrong one I want to hold. When I turn my hand, it opens his mouth. And then this piece of wood up here is what we call a stop. So his mouth can never go up because it hits the wooden stop, so it only goes down. So I can have a little bit of control with that stopper. Ah, so like that, there's a little piece of uh, uh, brazing rod for welding, and a little bit, I think this is a chopstick maybe. Hmm? A little tiny thing. And then the bigger ones are, of course, bigger. So here is the fox, and you can see his mouth mechanism. There's a string that pulls from right here, and the string goes through a little hoop, and down a tube, there's a tube that is attached, and there on the, um, yoop, is the, where I pull it, pull it, and it opens his mouth. So here's his mouth, and I pull the string down a little wider, bring it out, there we go. So all I have to do is pull it down, and then I have this black piece of elastic right here. See that piece? That's elastic, that pulls his mouth up. So I only have to open it by pulling it down, and that black piece of elastic brings it up. So there is how that works. Yeah? He's got three pieces, I think. Oh, wait. He's got one is the whole body, two is his mouth, three is his arm, and then he's got one piece that is both legs to the knee. So how many is that? Are you counting with me? I'm bad at math. And then two legs that kind of make it. I wanted him to swing a lot. I love the way he can dance and stuff, but unfortunately sometimes he gets caught like that. And then I don't know what he looks like. And I gotta jiggle him loose. So that is a close-up look. And you can see uh, right here on the tail, I had to maybe cut out a little bit of a, a more design. If you could see my marker mark there. I thought the flat and the ears too. I just never got to that yet. Um, I just like just the eye, just a little eye for the light to go through, and I think it's a nice, simple design. You're the most beautiful person that I ever did see. I want to tell you how much that you mean to me. Monkey! <sighs> Die, Tom, monkey. Mean to me. You're pretty and you're beautiful and you're funny. The monkey! Where I tell a monkey. <laughs> yes, yes. This one is one that is good because there's a holiday coming up that is called Halloween. It was the dark and stormy night and a little old lady was sitting in a rocking chair doing her knitting knit 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 when all of a sudden there was a sound that went ba boom and then it came in it came in from the back door one of these things stomping all over the place getting mud all over the house like that and the lady said Oh my. And then she went back to her knitting. Knit, 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 knit. When all of a sudden there was another sound that was bigger than the first. It went ba boom. And then it came in. It came in from the back door. Big old bat like thing flapping around, goofy like that. Flappity flap, flappity flap. And it came down like that. And the lady said, Oh my. She went back to her knitting. Knit, 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 knit. When all of a sudden there was the third and loudest of the sounds, it went ba boom, and then it came in. Do you know where it came in from? It came in from the front door, just for variety's sake. A big old pumpkin-like head, like that, flying around, came down, went like that, ha, ha, ha. And the lady said. Oh my, what big feet you have. Big feet for stomping. Stomping, 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 stomping. Yes, indeed. And uh, what big teeth you have. 
Big teeth for jumping! Jumping, 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 jumping. Yes, I see. Uh, so tell me there, Buster. What in the heck do you want? Me want. Me want. Me want a hug. Hug, 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 hug. Oh, my. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So now you know that one is for Columbus Day, right? No, 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 wait a minute. Halloween is coming up for Halloween. And, uh, and it was kind of really spooky or silly, depending on how you look at it. Now there's one that you might like. This one has got a wizard in it. And it's got a fairy in it. And it's got the magic chicken in it. Do you know what it is called? Yes, it is called the Wizard, the Fairy, and the Magic Chicken. Once upon a time, there was going to be on this screen, but he was all stuck and caught up, and then he took a long time because he was a prima donna. Come on, you wizard. There was a, oh, that's the last time I cut curly pointed shoes on a character. Ah, once upon a time, there was a wizard and a fairy and a magic chicken. And a wizard said, my wand is the best wand because it has a moon on it. And the fairy said, no, my wand is the best wand because it's got a star on it. And the magic chicken said, buck, 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 pickle on it. Yes, well, be that as it may, I can wave my wand and summon a very scary monster. Abra! Cadabra! Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. And the fairy said, That's not a very scary monster, and I would not even use my wand. I'd, I'd just give him a kiss, and I'd turn him into a prince. <laughs> rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. And the magic chicken said, buck, 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 buck. Um, buck, 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 buck. Buck, 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 buck. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. And the wizard said, no, that's kind of a scary monster, and I have to go now, goodbye. And the fairy said, oh, wait for me, please. And the magic chicken said, buck, 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 buck. I don't know, why did the magic chicken cross the road? Buck, 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 buck. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm going to turn a little light on here. And get ready for what I think is going to be oh, second to the last one. I got one more and then one more after that. So this one has a scenery in it as well. And I don't like scenery because it's all over the place in the way. It takes forever to set up. But since I'm here and it wants to look, oh, come on now. There we go. And there's my hand again. Hello. Can't stay. So now. This one has a special part for the audience. And for goodness sake, I mean everybody in this room, all three people, please help me out because <clears throat> I'm getting tired. Now, this is your part, audience, and the people at home. If you yell it loud enough, the people in the other room will think you're crazy. So here we go. You go like this is the mama duck, right? And when you see mama duck, you go quack, 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 quack. That's your part, OK? okay. All right, good. Here, let's try it together. Here we go. Quack, 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 quack. Good. One more time, just you. Quack, 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 quack. Okay, good, 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 good. So if you can remember your part, I will try and remember my part. Then we will sing this song together. Oh, the backwards one. There we go. Oh, five little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away, Mama Duck said, quack, 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 and only four little ducks came back. 
Oh, oh, four little ducks went out one day over the hills a and far away. Mama duck said, Oh, that's very nice. And only three little ducks came back. Oh, ho, three little ducks went out one day over the hills a and far away. Mama duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only, do you know? Two. Two little ducks came back with the hippopotamus. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, two little ducks and the hippopotamus went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only one. one little duck came back. I don't know what happened to the hippopotamus. Oh. Oh, one little duck went out one day over the hills that far away. Mama duck said, and 23 ducks came waddling back. Oh, 23 ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said, quack, 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 quack. And all five of the original ducks came back with the hippopotamus. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Um, I think this looks so nice that I'm going to leave the scenery right here. Really, I'm just too lazy to move it. Now, I will do the lasty one for you. This is the one about the guy named Jack. And it's not Jack and the Beanstalk. I had mentioned that before. If you're just tuning in, it's not Jack and the Beanstalk today. Now, do you know any other ones about Jack? If not, I'll give you a hint like that. Yeah, I did that one. Did you just Jack get Spratt. here, sir? Jack Spratt. No, it's not. That's a good one, but no. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill. Does this look like a hill? No, it's a muffin. You're making fun of my drawings? <laughs> now, I hope that you would know it, but I can see that we're going to have to do it, and we'll figure it out. I see, The thing is, I know it very well, but I will try and remember. <clears throat> it goes, little Jack Horner oh, sat. Oh, yeah, now you know it, sure. Yeah. Let me try again. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating the holiday pie. He poked in, um, he poked, how does this, he poked in his thumb and he pulled out the Pokemon. No. Do you know Pokemon? See, this is also copyright infringement, so we'll just get rid of that one there and do it. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. Here we go. Uh, little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating the holiday pie. He poked in his, uh, he poked in his finger and pulled out the opera singer. That's it, not <laughs> how it goes, I'm sorry. Let's try this again. Uh, okay. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating a holiday pie. He poked in his elbow and then he pulled out the, what, what, oh, what? No. no, is this a holy? No, 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 no. Definitely no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I remember. This is it. how it goes. I remember. This is how it goes. Ready? Mm -mm -mm. Little Jack Horner, blah, 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 corner, yada, yada, pie poked in his thumb and pulled out ahem. On behalf of the Pie Association, we'd appreciate it if you please stop poking in the pie. Hey? Hey, don't you know you're not supposed to play with your food? Yeah, don't play with your food, just eat it. Poke, poke, poke. No, don't poke me. Poke, 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 <laughs> stop that poking. Poke, 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 stop I don't like that poking. No, I'm not going to get in the big fight about it. I'm just going to leave. Hmm. I'm taking the pie with me, though. How do you like them apples? Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> the end. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That's very nice. I'm going to come right here, and you can see me in shadow. Hi, this is the dog. Like that. Hello. Thank you very much for watching my show, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It was nice to see you. Oh, I didn't really see you, except for AJ. Thanks, man. And uh, I hope that I will come back again sometime soon and do this all for you. But for now, feel better, get better, and I'll say see you later, alligators, and bye-bye.
Foundation. Pizza, pizza, hope you like my little pizza. Bum, bum, bum. 